The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says about 45 tons of strontium-tainted water may have leaked out of a water treatment device, with a portion of it spilling out of the facility. Tokyo Electric Power Company says the water may contain high levels of radioactive strontium. Strontium causes internal radiation exposure. The company is trying to determine whether the water reached the sea. The utility said that at about 11.30 a.m. Sunday, a water leak was spotted in a device to remove salt from contaminated water from which radioactive material had already been removed. TEPCO said the leak was stopped after the device was turned off, but at least 45 tons of water containing radioactive materials may have leaked out, with some portion possibly reaching a ditch outside the facility. The level of radioactive cesium had been reduced to 45 becquerels per cubic centimeter after the treatment, but the water is believed to have contained 130,000 becquerels per cubic centimeter of radioactive strontium. The ditch connects to the sea about 600 meters away. The power company is piling up sandbags in the ditch to prevent the water from flowing into the ocean. The water is used to cool down the reactors in the power plant. The utility says the leak does not pose any problems for the process. Oh, I think I can compose myself after that. Workers carried out a test case for removing radioactive materials from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in the evacuation zone around the facility. Specialists commissioned by the central government have spent the past week cleaning 4.5 hectares of land around the Okuma Town Hall. The town is inside the 20-kilometer no-entry zone around the Fukushima plant. Before they started the task, they had been monitoring the radiation levels of the area for over two weeks. The workers used a high-pressure water spray to wash radioactive substances off the roof of the town hall. They also collected fallen leaves and moss, which are believed to contain high concentrations of these materials. They tested different water temperatures and lengths of shifts to find the most efficient way to remove the substances. They used water. The used water was stored in tanks to be tested for recycling, as the local sewage system has not been restored yet. The project succeeded in reducing radiation levels in the area from about 20 microsieverts per hour to 6 microsieverts. In some cases, radiation levels will not fall as expected, but we want to speed up this decontamination effort so residents can return home as soon as possible. Get away from there! Evacuees offered their opinions of the work. I appreciate the efforts. I want to return home when it's complete and proved safe. To do so. Oh my God. I doubt all the radioactive materials can be removed. It would be better for us to move to a different place and start a new community. The government will conduct similar test cases in 11 cities and municipalities and begin full fledged operations early next year. It's another bullshit experiment. Australian Prime Minister Julia Gillard told a conference of her ruling Labour Party that exporting uranium to India is in Australia's interest. Sell uranium to China, but not having those strong relationships in this, the Asian century, is good for trade, it's good for jobs, it's good for our nation, and that's why today we should determine to change our platform and enable us, under safeguards, to sell uranium to India. Thank you, delegates. <laughs> oh, I think I can compose myself after that. However, Gillard said some cabinet members expressed concern that the uranium may be used to develop nuclear weapons. Australia has the largest known uranium reserves in the world, but the previous administration did not allow exports to India, which possesses nuclear weapons. Today we occupy the ALP National Conference. We occupy the ALP National Conference in opposition to their sale of uranium to India, a non-signatory to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. It's a f***ing disgrace. The tellers report 206 votes in favour of the proposition, 185 against.
The plan to lift the export ban was approved with majority support from party members. Gillard said she will secure safety measures indicating her intention to have India sign a bilateral agreement that would only allow it to use the uranium for peaceful purposes. It's the oldest trick in the book. What book? The distortion of truth by association book. Australia apparently intends to strengthen its ties with India, which has a growing demand for nuclear power generation and is playing an increasingly important role in Asian security. My baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y E R. Oh, I love to eat it every day. And if you ask me why, I'll say, cause I. Oscar Mayer, the first name in Bologna. Okay. Hello, fellow escape lunatics. Um, this video is about um songs that get stuck in your head because I've had the Oscar Mayer Wiener song stuck in my head for like a week, and it's really starting to annoy me. Nothing that I've been listening to is helping. Um. Like, seriously, I've been listening to all my, my chemical romance songs <laughs> since I had it stuck in my head and it's still not getting out, so it's really annoying me. Um, I was just wondering, what kind of stupid songs that stuck in your guys' heads? Because, like, everything that seems to be, like, really retarded gets stuck in mine. Like, all, like, little kids' shows, like, Tell Tubbies and Blues Clues, the theme songs just get stuck in my head. And then I'm going around like singing the stupid Blues Clues theme song in my head for like weeks on end. Now, yeah, what kind of things that stuck in your heads? So leave a comment or a video response below. My baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y E R. Oh, I love to eat it every day. And if you ask me why, I'll say, cause I. Oscar Mayer, the first name in Bologna. How's that?